Uh, hi guys, I'm Gabe. I remember uh, three years ago, I was sitting next to a colleague who was actually in charge of some social media accounts. And the challenges that we were having is that we just launched a campaign with a Twitter hashtag. And we wanted to see actually what were the sentiments of that stream that came by. Uh, and what he was doing is trying to find some automated way to do it. And he was auditing the top, this is about three years ago, the top social media sentiment analysis like services. Uh, and basically, they all sucked. <laughs> they were awful. And none of them could actually compare to doing random sampling. Literally just taking a random set of 100 tweets, looking at them yourself, and measuring to see positive or negative, And that beat every single one of those. So for the longest time, the challenge is, is how can you write an algorithm that properly is able to analyze natural language? It's like nearly impossible. Enter machine learning. Uh, so a couple of months ago, Google released its cloud natural language API. It basically gave access to anybody to be able to tap, tap into this mystery magic box to analyze speech. Uh, and enter in my Twitter sentimenter. Uh, so instead of looking at a hashtag, I actually looked at a username. Uh, and let's, let's try it out. Anytime you try something for the first time, you always try to get maybe your own uh, username and see what, it, what happens and what, what fetches back. Uh, so what's actually happening? <laughs> uh, I am a negative tweeter at an emotionally high level, uh, apparently, but only slightly negative. Uh, so what happens is I'm, 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 I'm tapping into the Twitter API to pull the last 200 tweets uh, that I send. So that's basically roughly two years. Sending that to Google, throwing it to the machine learning black box, and it's returning polarity level of the negativity and the level of magnitude of which uh, I am expressed. Uh, I always tell my mother, don't watch uh, the news. And so let's just see, I don't know, what happens with CNN. Yeah, don't watch the news. Uh, it's very negative at an emotionally high level. Uh, but I was like trying to see, OK, let's try something that we could imagine is probably very neutral, the Weather Channel. Uh, let's see what kind of the tweets that get coming back. Uh, negative as well. Uh, and I'm like, OK, there's something wrong with Google's API here. Uh, and then I just go through the Weather Channel's like Twitter feed, <laughs> this is awful. Uh, yeah, I'm from Florida, so that's nothing. Nothing good happens in Florida. Uh, okay, so let's let's really like see maybe if we do the, the Dalai Lama, you know, like come on, like we got to do like a check to see if this is this is for sure working. Uh, very positive. Uh, and it's interesting enough, the emotional level is medium, so you can it like, actually matches pretty closely uh, with his personality. Uh, but there's some surprising things, uh, trying out something like uh, Snoop Dogg. And does anyone have any guesses how, how he behaves? Positive and very highly emotional so. <laughs> so I, 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 need, I need to tell my mother to uh, stop following CNN and start listening to Snoop Dogg's tweets. Uh, politics. You know we're getting there. Uh, I don't know. This is probably intuitively obvious. I don't think we need machine learning uh, to determine how people behave on social media. Uh, very high emotionally, slightly negative, so not terrible. Um, on Hillary Clinton's side, that's actually pretty close to being neutral. Uh, uh, but the Donald. Uh, what could we guess is going on <laughs> with the Donald? Uh, he's neutral. Uh, his sentiment analysis on his tweets is neutral at an extremely high emotional level, higher than uh, I've ever seen. Again, there's something wrong, right, with, with Google here. Well, if you check out like Donald Trump's feed, he has an enormous amount of polarity in the positive and in the negative, calling Hillary Clinton a crook, but also using words like great and make America great again. Good luck. Trump is right. Thank you, Green Bay. Uh, so it actually makes uh, quite sense uh, when it comes to this. So there's a lot of opportunity to automate some of the, lot of the, the things regarding sentiment that uh, for the longest time we've only able to, to be due by hand. So, thank you.